You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Ah. Ah. Good morning, Talos. All personnel should report to their workstations for the day. If you expect to be absent for any reason, please inform your immediate supervisor.
science critical. Target, no alien material detected. Sensor reset.
No Typhon material detected. Getting around is going to be a problem. The main lift is broken. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. I'll let you know if I find a workaround. Nineteen sixty three.
Good morning, Talos. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. to your office is 0451. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation.
Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory's shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a Neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part. Turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck.
Good morning, Carlos. Warning. Tampering with administrative control. Care is needed.
Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. System alert. Repair is needed. Tell me about the dream. The dream. Yes. It's, um, it's always in my lab, and, um, I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? Uh, well, nothing. At first. I don't want to turn it on, but I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do... It's like the heart of a black hole, an immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like, the shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino, does it look like this? No, 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 that, that's... No, I, I don't... Um... Are you sure? Uh, where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> But you can call me Chief Elazar, Matt. Matthias, please. Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. 
Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Matt. I was just... restless. And you're better now? Not restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that, fighting, not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station, it's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. <sighs> the research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. These psych evals are a waste of time. A waste of time? Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues with authority. A year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss. And we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation, did it involve anger? Issues with the Thor- Screw this! I'm done! Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earthside. You assholes will bury it with your psych eval bullshit. And another thing. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer.
Are you on your way? On my way where? Octavia, didn't you see the alert? We're supposed to muster. Listen, it's really sweet that you're worried about me. We've had alerts before, and I've got three more of these glorified vacuum cleaners to fix before my shift is over. Oh, make that four. Someone dropped off another. God, these things are junk. I don't think this is a drill, Octavia. I'm sending you the code. Please, come to the escape pods right now. <laughs> Thank you. 